Hi all, it's Alan Vukas and today is Thursday, February 1st. It's the beginning of a new month and it's so great to see everybody here this um, on this uh, first day of the February. As I'm sitting here pulling some cards and having some coffee, I realize it's time for me to have a conversation with friends. And so this morning I wanted to share with you the, the cards that I drew this morning in answer to the question that I ask every day, what do I need to know to be in alignment with my highest good? Here in this 24 hour period, what, what do I need to know? Um, it's like taking a internal, emotional, intuitive uh, weather check. And uh, do I need an umbrella? Is today all sunny? Is there some clouds? Something for me to be mindful of so that I can truly co-create with life because living from the inside out or living authentically takes both intention and action but also uh, intuition and that's what we're looking at today so let me share with you the cards that i drew i am using oh as i make a reach here sorry um i'm using the wisdom of the oracle deck by colette baron reed you can um, try her deck out for yourself at the link below on our website at colettebaronreed.com I'm, I'm taking a look i want to give you a heads up there's a, a deck that i am exploring and i believe in march i'm going to be using this deck i'm i'm considering every month having a new deck for the daily cards and so i want to give you a heads up as to one that is coming down the um the uh, the stream so to speak uh, and which is funny because actually if you look at the, the box so this is a deck by Denise Lynn sacred traveler oracle cards and if you notice that the traveler here uh, whether it's male or female I guess it's really how you relate to the imagery um, but there um, I'm saying this is she that this uh, like intuition uh, the our, our soul is um, feminine and receptive in response to life. But so this sacred traveler, the soul as it travels uh, on the stream of life. So this is a deck I'm looking at. I'll put a, a link below that you can go to her website and take a look at this. I love the box and I love the colors and we'll do some more about that. But I just wanted to give you a heads up. So we're using Wisdom of the Oracle and the card that I drew today and it made me laugh and it was treasure island in reverse in protection as colette would refer to this <laughs> this is the number nine and now if this if you feel like you're having deja vu you've watched other videos uh there was this card recently came up in reverse as well treasure island and i had to, had to take a look and discover the meaning of it and I had to um, sit with this one a little bit as to what is this coming up again today. So let me just read directly from her book about this. And what does she say? I'm going to read it again. But the emphasis today is a little different and I'll share that with you. So poverty consciousness and a sense of not enough cast a shadow on your path. These ideas and core beliefs come with a high cost. Do you really want to proclaim yourself a victim of disappointment and failed expectations? Are you avoiding success because you will grow so tall that others will want to cut you down? Or is it possible that you're caught in a fear that you will lose what you've acquired so you hold on so tight that you miss the opportunities to expand? You're challenged to change the way you see the world and move from a perception of limitations to a perception of abundance. Take a risk, for you have nothing to lose except your confinement in a prison of your own making. Open the door and find the abundance waiting for you to claim it. So I, as I was reading that and I was reflecting on that, when this card came up the last time, it really spoke to me about the attitudes that we can have about life and saying there's not enough, not enough time, not enough conditions or circumstances around me. I don't have enough resources in order to, to really do what it is to open that treasure chest. And the emphasis today um, for me in regards to this treasure island is, is to take it even further and to um, notice areas of your life where you may have been disappointed things have not worked out and while there might be an initial thought 
that, oh, there's not enough time, there's not enough energy, there's not enough resources available for me to do this. There is a, there's another layer to that, which Treasure Island, I believe, is speaking to today. And that has to do with, is then how am I identifying myself? Am I identifying myself as um, that I am a victim? I am, I've, I've been disappointed, therefore I'm a victim. Or I made a mistake and therefore um, it's not available to me. I'm not enough. Or because life has determined that I'm not enough. And this is taking it a little deeper than just that there's not enough out there and to have a, a prosperity mindset, but also in what um, what does that say about who we are? And, and also to release any fear, to release fear around because I have been disappointed and up till now that I've experienced a disappointment in a certain area, then I'm afraid to actually take another step in that direction because I'm afraid of losing what I already have. So I I drew a second card. Whenever I get a, a, a card that shows up multiple times, I usually pull another card from another deck. I pulled one from the tarot to sort of get a clarifying, and I wanted to, to, um, to share that with you today. This is the Six of Wands, and it was also reversed. And the key word for this card in reverse has to do um, with uh, a lack of confidence. A lack of confidence. Um, also, egotism, um, having such an idea about myself that I'm not even willing to try. And so to me, this ties in perfectly with this Treasure Island, um, this message. Don't worry about it if you're not recognized for your skills. Don't worry um, if, if you've made an attempt and you've stepped out and people aren't recognizing what you've done or what you've accomplished and that has undermined your confidence. This is to me what this treasure island is about. You are more than enough. Today, you are the treasure. It's not about you stepping out of a limited idea of the universe um, in, in order to experience treasure in your life. Today, realize you are the treasure regardless of, of whether other people haven't recognized it or not. Your disappointment, and I'm doing air quotes to that, your disappointment is just the means by which life is working out your treasure. What is in the way is the way for you to, for your magnificence to be revealed. Colette, I heard something from Colette where she says, rejection is God's protect protection. So instead today of thinking that you're not enough and, and, and maybe feeling disappointed and it's done, it's, there's no hope in this, realize you are the treasure. Release the disappointment, release all of that, and actually be excited that, that what, was, what appeared to be taken away, what appears to be um, distant from you, is in fact protection. That's not the way. You are on track. Continue to keep your head high. Continue to see yourself as the treasure that you are and know that regardless of the past, regardless of what seems to have not worked out, it, it is in fact an indication that it is working out and you are, um, you, it is on its way to you. Maybe it wasn't yesterday, but keep holding your head high. So I look forward to seeing you in a, an upcoming video. And until I see you, I'm just knowing the highest and best for you. Namaste.